If you want to make money with your social media account, it's important to use resources that set you up for success. And so today you're going to watch me create my very own Stan store account. Starting today, we're going to think bigger and get whatever we need to be successful because this is by far in 2025 the best platform to be on. So if you're ready to create your Stan store as well, let's get into it. So I've broken down the setup of Stan store into five simple steps. Feel free to jump to the step that you need as there will be timestamps. And so the first step is research. And so what we're going to do is look at popular sand stores and get some inspiration for how we want to create our own. And so what's important in this research stage is to truly understand what we can actually create within Sandstore. Because it's one thing to hear that you can create a community or do landing pages. It's another thing to see what a Sandstore actually looks like. And so there's a few things that I'm going to look out for when reviewing. Are they offering digital products? Are they offering consultations? Are they offering services? Are they offering any freebies? So let's hop into the first one. And that is Binta's budget. She mainly uses TikTok to draw drive traffic to her store. And so first up, I see that she does offer a free community as well as a paid community. Moving on along, she has three digital products, a hot girl bundle, the ultimate automated budget template, as well as the automated debt tracker. I myself do want to offer digital products as well. So I'm going to write that down. And so as you see, she has a really strong call to actions, which is important for us to have in our sand store as well. Moving on, she also offers eBooks on affiliate marketing, as well as digital marketing. And then she has a section for consultations. And so this is one area where I will focus on as I do want to offer my audience more one on one support. And so that's a question you want to ask yourself. Do you want that face time with your audience? Or do you want them to learn on their own from a book that you've written? And so based on your audience's learning style, we'll then determine what you offer them. Next, we have Chelsea. And so what I like about Chelsea's stand store is that she does offer done for you services, like automation setup, as well as a social media package. Then we have modern Millie. And so it looks like modern Millie is selling a mini course, two digital products in her BSP model course bundle. And so our prices range from $1 to thousands of dollars. And so if you click join today, it'll take you directly to her website. But if I were to click on her digital product, then it would take me directly to the shopping cart within Stan store. And so we have that option when selling our offers. Moving on, we have Billionaire Brooklyn. And so Billionaire Brooklyn has kept it very simple. She has her community with digital boss code, and then she has her paid course with DBA. And so if you enter in your name, email, and phone number, she'll directly send you this digital product. And so I included Billionaire Brooklyn because I wanted to show you all that you can get your customer's information without them having to go to another page. And the preview of DBA is a great example of that. And so as we've seen, when it comes to selling offers on Stan Store, we can sell a range of digital products like Excel templates, eBooks, mini courses, full scale courses. We can also do consulting and sell done for you services. Plus we can showcase our affiliate links. And so overall, there's a lot that we can do. Now we're on the planning phase. This is where we're going to create an outline of what we want our stand store to actually look like. So I currently have opened the whiteboard through Canva. This is really your space to create, draw, and bring your ideas to life. In this case, I'm going to show you as best I can what I want my stand store to look like. And so it's best to do it now in the planning phase so that you don't have to think about the design and setup when you're actually creating your store. Let's go to elements and then sticky note. And so for the first section on my stand store, I want people to join my business business community. And so what I think would be best here is to say, join my community and have the name and email field on the same page so that my community can easily sign up. Moving on for the next section, I want to have resources that will help people actually form a business. I want that to be the second section on my stand store. So I'm going to get a different colored sticky note. And so I'll include the resources here. And so when setting up a business, someone will generally need an LLC formation service, a virtual office provider, a business bank account, a business website, business domain and email, as well as a business phone number. Now we're on to section three. This is where I can share the done for you courses that I've personally bought and found really helpful. Next, we have section four. This is where I wanna include my consultation offers. And so if people so choose, they can either get a YouTube audit or financial audit from me. And then we have section five. This is where I'll offer my freebies. From what we've seen, you might wanna have your freebies higher up. The goal for me is that people join my free community where all the free 
freebies will exist. Here is a brief mock-up of what the stamp store could look like. Let me know in the comments how your mock-up is looking. Now we're on to step three, which is the actual creation of the stamp store account. And so to add in any digital products, courses, or services, you're first gonna click the My Store tab. But before we get to products, let's handle design first. So we're gonna go to Edit Design. It's then gonna take us to this page where we have some options. From what I've seen, most creators go with Ethan Walker, but we can choose whatever works best for us. And then for colors, I'm gonna go with a light blue theme as that's my branding across my YouTube channel. If you're unsure about your brand colors, I've left a link in the description below that'll take you to a free Canva branding template. The first color will be your button color, and then the second color will be the background color of your sand store. Once everything looks good, you can then hit save. Now it's time to add in our products. First thing we gotta do is set up the community. So I'm gonna go to add product, and then I'm gonna go to collect email slash applications. Is then gonna ask for their name as well as their email. I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT real quick and see what call to actions would be a good fit. So the first thing I do when asking ChatGPT for help is to first ask it to craft me a really good prompt. I say, help me come up with an advanced prompt that'll come up with the title, subtitle, description, and button text for my digital product. So here we have the master prompt. All I need to add in is the title. Moving on, we have the information that we wanna collect. For now, I'm good with name and email, but if I do choose to add a field later on, I have these options. Let's scroll back up real quick so that we can add in a photo. We have three options when it comes to graphics. We can use the graphics included in Stan Store already, or we can create our own graphic in Canva. And then for the third option, we can use AI for this specific picture. I will create it in Canva. I've now uploaded my logo for the BFC community. And so I can save as draft or I can hit publish. Since every everything looks good to me, I will hit publish. Yes, so we officially have our first product published and as I've gotten more inspiration, I actually decided to switch up the stages. I'm still gonna have community first, but in the second section, I'm gonna offer the opportunity to get a consultation with me as well as purchase a YouTube and financial audit. Then for section three will be the business formation links. Section four will include my own personal digital products and then section five will include done for you courses. And so as you create your store as well, well, you'll likely make changes. Here are mine. We're going to add a new section for consultations. And so because this is going to be higher price items, we're going to actually create landing pages that we'll then add to our storefront. And so we need to click landing pages at the top. It says we can drive customers to an exclusive product link using a private landing page. This is hidden from your storefront, so you can offer it to specific groups of customers or you can offer it to everybody. And so for my YouTube and financial audit, I'm going to create a digital product. Let's skip the image section and take care of the text. And so for all of the writing that needs to get done, I will head over to ChatGPT for help. Since we have the community and consultations added, it's now time to move on to affiliate links. If you aren't currently using affiliate links, you are missing out as it is a very simple and straightforward way to make passive income. So the way that we're going to do that is by going to add product and then we're going to click on URL slash media. All right. So the first link that I'm going to add is Taylor Brands. They are an all-in-one business formation service. Skipping over the picture, let's then add in the text. And so I'm going to use ChatGPT for this as well. Now that I have the text added in, I'm going to go straight back up and add in the thumbnail. Once everything looks good, I'm going to hit publish. I'll now add in my digital product. So we have 200 plus grant writing prompt pack. For my thumbnail, I'm using an image I generated in Gemini. And so if you need thumbnails for your stand store, I highly recommend Gemini even over ChatGPT because Gemini can make images in less than 10 seconds. And so once you have your image, you're going to click use this photo and then you're gonna hit next. Now it's time to add in the description body, bottom title, as well as the call to action button. And then lastly, all I need to do is upload the file. I'm gonna confirm that everything looks good and then I'm gonna hit publish. And so as you see, the grant writing prompt pack has been added to my stand store. For the last section, we have courses. So I'm gonna to go to add product, then URL slash media because the digital course already has a landing page. So I'm gonna paste in the link to the course here. Now that the text is set, I'm gonna then upload the image. And so if we go to my final stand store account, we can see all the different sections added. So at the top, we have the free business community 
Next, we have the audits and consultations. Then we have business foundations. Next, we have the digital products that I have available for people to purchase. And then lastly, I have done for you digital marketing courses at the bottom. And so we have now officially created and set up a stand store, which brings me to step four, which is launch and test. We want to test out each of our links to make sure they go to the correct page. And so in order to join the community, you would need to enter in your name and email. So it's working perfectly. Next, we have the audits and consultations. So I'm going to click submit your request. It's then going to take me to this page. Moving on to my affiliate links, I want to check to make sure each one of these goes to the right place. So let's check the Zen business link. And so it does correctly take me straight to the Zen Business website. And then we have the digital products. It does take me straight to the description for the grant writing prompt pack. And then it has the checkout at the bottom, which means it worked perfectly. Lastly, let's check the digital marketing course. And so it does correctly take me to the ultimate branding course landing page where I can then read up on the course. And then if I like it, I can unlock access. Now that I've confirmed everything looks good, it's now time to move on to step five, which is officially publish my stand store. And so what you want to do is take your stand store link and put it on your social media pages. Let me show you how to get your link. What you're going to do is go to your stand store account, go to the upper right hand corner and hit the copy button. You're then going to go to your social media account. I'll take you to my YouTube channel. And so we're going to go to YouTube studio. You're going to click customization and then you're going to scroll down and add your link. I'm going to click add link. And then for title, I'm going to say work with me. And so once I've added in the link, I'm then going to go to the top of the page and hit publish. And so as you can see, I've officially published my stand store link on my YouTube channel. You can do the same on your social media platforms. Let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building.